Hi everyone. Look at this. This is a nice car. Today I would like to present you the Audi TTS in the beautiful yellow color with a lot of specs, yeah, nearly full specs. She is from 2017. She has like 60,000 kilometers. And this is what I like with this car. I mean, for me, and it's a question of the video as well. It's, is it the perfect daily? Yeah, I think a sports daily. What I mean is like, you have still four seats or two plus two, let's say seat, yeah, in the back. I mean, it's not very comfortable. You can bring maybe uh, your mother-in-law if you don't like her, or children is okay, yeah. Of friends, if you don't like your friends, yeah. Oh, we are behind. Very cozy, yeah, very yeah, cozy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I highly recommend it. More closer, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go for this 1,000 kilometer trip, right? Yeah. Everyone is ready? Straight to Amsterdam. Um, here's the full specs, as I mentioned. You have the Matrix LED here, adaptive headlights. You have also the black packet, see here. You are here as well, the Audi in black directly. And you have here the 20 inch uh, wheels, the RS 20 inch wheels specific uh, of the TTS that you can also find on your RS, uh, TTRS here, as you can see the RS, you have also the specific TTS brakes here, bigger diameter, I will put the, the number after, <laughs> I think these brakes are great for the for the road, right, uh, forget it for the track, it's operated very fast, so we're not taking the car for the track, uh, here you have a side mirror specific to the S or the RS, if I'm not wrong, uh, like in aluminium color. Yeah, as well, it has this nice uh, side skirt that you have on the version 1. Of them in the, on the phase 1, on the version 3 of the TT. So this is the TT version 3, as I mentioned. Phase 1, yeah. And I prefer really the phase 1 because uh, you have less thick, uh, let's say, air van, right? As you can see from the back here. Here there is no air fan like you have in the in the in the phase uh, in the phase two. This is more round, this is more sleek, and I think it's how the, the TT should look like. As was the phase one, I mean the TT1 uh, or the TT2, that says they were really round, really sleek, and that's what we like. That look at this car. It looks here, Alcantara as well. It looks very actual. I need to. Your mobile phone is still in the vehicle. Thank you very much. I'm aware of this. For a car seven years old, I mean, look at this, right? We've as mentioned all the AC included in the button here. It's quite nice. So now let's give it a try. I really wanted to add this uh, angle when I drive away from the camera because I thought it cool uh, until I realized that there was no way out. Let's try to make a launch control. So sport mode, ESC off, left foot on brake. System. She has like S-Tronic double coupling, so it's not as fast as that uh, 911, like the PDK, nevertheless it's really great. I mean, for the, it fits perfectly with this car, it's 
not too slow. And I think we are this close to have the perfection between sports car and daily. Yeah, because as I mentioned before, it's quite comfortable. You can put the suspension in comfort mode as we are now. It's always why I put the car in comfort mode in the suspension. All the rest is in sports because I don't need to have a super tough suspension when I'm driving in a city, right? Or even in a, in a pretty bad road. And, uh, and you have also a trunk. I mean, the motor is in the front. Is uh, in, uh, not horizontally, uh, is the cross position, is between the two, um, two suspensions, is a four cylinder two liter turbo, <coughs> and uh, associated with this Quattro system, it's very great for, let's say, a launch, launch mod, and uh, you have always power. I mean, even very low. In the RPM, you have a really decent amount of torque, which is, I don't remember, <laughs> right, 400 Newton meter, something like this, as I feel, right? And because you feel, I mean, you are sitting quite low, to be honest, and you feel that the, the size of the car is not so bright, not so long as well, so easy to park, super maneuverable, uh, and also very agile when you go in the, in the B road. And even if you are driving 250 on the highway, this car is very stable, and I never get frightened by losing control or, or, um, or I don't know, even on the rain, or so you can drive it on the snow. This is the perfect tools for nearly everything, right? Of course, it's not a SUV. Of course, it's not a combi, right? I mean, this you can have seen when you see the car from outside. Nevertheless, what you can do with such a small car is perfect. You have a sport design, you have a sports car, you have four-wheel drive. Uh, you can put, again mentioned before, you can put two child, you can put a small dog in the trunk. Yeah. And um, and you can put your grocery shopping. I mean, easily. And what you can do as well is launch control. And I love launch control. I put in ASC off. And I press the throttle. Here we go. But when you do this on the public road, the people uh, think you're a bit crazy and they think they're they are right. Yeah. So let's turn to slow down a bit. Yeah. Um, so, yes, you can nearly do everything with this car. And it's not so expensive. I mean, like, you can buy this car now as a used car for in Germany. Yeah. It's 34,000, 36,000, depending on the mileage. Yeah, here it's 60, 65,000. She's from 2000. The car is from 2017, um, and you have a bunch of options for sure. Yeah, you have like um, it's not the the, the Bangalore Sen, but it's still uh, Audi um, stereo system, so not the the, the low end. It's an option. Uh, you have the Apple CarPlay. Uh, you have the kind of comfort bucket seat. Uh, you have as well the RS 20 inch wheels, you have the Matrix uh, LED adaptive light, you have the uh, black package, so meaning you have not chrome anymore, which I find super great when you have such a yellow car. <coughs> and I think that's it, yeah. And of course, you have the S Tronic, as I mentioned before, which is, uh, I think, great for this car. It fits, it fits quite, quite well, because if you want to drive, say every day this car from my point of view you need or well, I prefer let's say to have a to have an automatic uh, gearbox right
more than five seconds or something like this. So correct me if I'm wrong in the in the comments. What is cool in this car as well that she's not too bright, right? I mean, here we have in super small road, yeah, without any line in the middle, and uh, you can imagine that a two meter bright car uh, will not be super comfortable. Now we are entering in a very tiny little village of Germany with beautiful old house and uh, 20 km per hour from the guy in front of us. <laughs> oh, let's take on the right. I don't know where we're going. Let's take on the right. It looks super pretty. Okay, more of the village. This is the end of the video. I wanted to add that no animal gets hurt for this video. Please subscribe, comment and see you next time.